So, as I remain true to myself, as I always have, and I've always spoken truth to power, I call a spade a spade, and I wait in shame, thinking that at any moment the court could proceed with pursuing in order to have me vacated. Or my house can fall into foreclosure should I not continue to pay the mortgage. And it's very obvious to me that, you know, um, the powers that be feel that they are well within their authority to grant my brother's wishes to not have my father's last wishes acknowledged because the will wasn't notarized accordingly and in accordance to a local statute and some little technicality, you know. And I'm filing an appeal because there wasn't enough attention paid to the witness and I have the utmost respect for the judge. Both judges, uh, I have the utmost respect for, for the surrogate court, the family court, and the local Kent, uh, town court. Um, and, and they've all been very patient and respectful of the police department in handling this situation that is very unfortunate family um, misunderstanding over what's the best course of action to do with an estate which is our inheritance and which will be liquidated at any moment's time and not to our benefit, but to benefit the broker fee of the realtor and the commission, the finance commission of Button County, um, as well as the state taxes for, for transferring that because there is no equity and it was deemed worthless. <laughs> so it, some people are saying, oh, it's a tear down, you know, um, honestly, I, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. The house needs a lot of work. It's got fucking mold up the wazoo now, and I think it's made me feel kind of sick. It's very cold and damp, and the house um, needs to be clean. It needs to have a new bathroom, a new shower put in, um, and another second bathroom, and separate entrance to put in to make it to, to like a separate unit so that it's more hospitable. <clears throat> because, uh, let's face it, that's a tiny little house. But it's the land and, and it's the way it's situated and it's the studio itself that's the most valuable. And I think that, you know, it's it's worth uh, filing an appeal as much as it's going to be costly and expensive because at this point, um, at any day, you know, they could just be seized, you know. It's sick, but that's what it says on the paper. And my brother doesn't realize, like, shit, you know, like, better be trying to. So I, I need to contact an attorney. Um, and for those of you <clears throat> who know me and subscribe and who are attorneys, please do leave a comment or, as, as you've been doing, email me. I guess because as an attorney, you're supposed to have confidentiality privilege, like with the email, the texting. I appreciate it. Um, and thanks for subscribing and watching my videos. Um, I'm definitely going to have to spend more time speaking with uh, counsel uh, about how to save my house because I think my brother has indicated to a number of individuals he's had a change of heart um, that after realizing that forcing the sale um, is not going to be profitable for him, I think he's relinquished his position but has yet to act upon it. So now I have to in some way have an attorney do this um, uh, on my behalf and um, I can't afford that right now <laughs> honestly I can't afford $500 an hour I'm so sorry um, y'all just make a lot of money and $500 an hour $7,500 retainer Ooh, ouch ouch that's a lot of money for me right now so uh, hey Thank you, Kylie, for your support. <laughs>